So, I'm on ArcPoc. I'm going to try and play solo for 24 hours on ArcPoc. We know how cheaty it is, we know how hard it is to play. I'm going to build in the open, see if I get found, and try and raid as many places as I can from the start. Do my note runs first, get a wyvern, and try and get as much PvP and raids as I can before I get wiped. Let's get into it, let's have fun, let's just do what we can. Let's do it. Come on, then we'll go get everything we need. We'll seek our revenge. No! And if you guys can, do me a favor, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and turn on notifications. You're stressing me out here, bud. There we go, look. We're done. Let's f***ing go. After getting my wyvern, I had to get some hide to work on my gear. Then, we worked on parachutes so we didn't die next time we fell. And, I worked on some flint and everything else to try and get the rest of my tools. If I had that, then I'd have a great time. I grabbed a, a person's tame. It was at a base that I'd found. This base looks like my first raid. I'm going to go for this place. I reckon if I can get all these tames away, kill him off before the person comes back because I'm pretty sure he's online. If I can get rid of them all, get rid of his parasol which is overweighted. If I can get rid of that, then I will work on raiding this base. First, I have to go get gear and get some grenades. If I make some stuff, I could probably raid that. So I set out with a plan in mind. My plan was to make a raft. No matter how dodgy it is, make a raft, build some fires, build some forges, make some grenades, and go over and raid that base as soon as possible. It could be my snowball, my step up, to build up real quick on this map. On Arkpok, one of the most scary, in my opinion, servers because of all the cheaters. If I can do as much as I can, as quick as I can, then I'll have fun. <sighs> Let's go get some oil, a little bit of metal. So I said I was going to get oil and metal. First I have to get some crystal. I need that for some of the things I need to do. I need to make spyglasses and everything. But I headed over to the snow area, which is the north zone. Grab some oil. Let's see how much I can get from deconstructing this. So my thought process was, I kept getting these guys from, uh, from drops. And if I can get as many of these as I can, deconstruct them, I can get some easy metal early on. I can make my smithy without having yeah. to make a forge. This will push me further and quicker to getting grenades and raiding that base. I have a wyvern to kill anybody that I have to go against. But first I need to upgrade my base. It's very scruffed. I apologize. It's off center. I know it's going to trigger some people. But it's as quick as I can. I'm trying to be as quick as I can to get this raid done. And get into building up and gear that I don't have to farm myself. And that's my plan. Make grenades. Raid the base. Use their gear. And not mine. Before we can make grenades I have to work on gunpowder, spark powder. And all those little things that I still kind of need. Uh, I need to go work on that now. I need stone and everything. Once I have that, I'll make my grenades. And then we will head over to raid this base. I'm so keen. I decided I kind of needed a forge to smelt some metal down as well. I want to make some flak. So I'm farming up stone, farming up flint, farming up wood. And expanding my base as much as possible. Because I'm outliving my base already. It's not taking much to outlive a base this early on. It's only wood, so it doesn't take much to do. Forge is down. we got the smithy down. And grenades are made. It's time. For us to head over and raid. Learning some flak first, hopefully get a few pieces of that so I don't die so quick. And now we're gonna head over and destroy this base. Our first profit, hopefully. Let's see what we get. So first what I need to do is I need to watch out because there was a theory here that I'm pretty sure I kited away already, but it's disappeared. There's one team here still. I gotta kill that before I go in. There he is. Pick him. I picked him, so now that I picked him, he'll easily die. Easy. He didn't have any armor on. He was early on. Six, level 62. Easy. Now I'm just going to kite this away. Get it away from base because it's going to take too much to kill. He'll probably kill me first. Then I'll go kill that Sarko and then we'll blow into the base. That's the main goal. If they can't defend with anything, then it's easy raid, easy profit. So we'll kill this first, and then we'll blow this base up. One, two, three, four, five grenades going your. <laughs> and with the grenades out, the base is down. Time to go in and find out what we have. I wonder if he's in here. And like I expected, he respawned. Killed him pretty easily with the torch. Tried to take out the beds, but the beds, for some reason, on this server, he must have either had him glitched out. I couldn't do damage to him at all. He has massive loot here. This is a lot of stuff I need. There's polymer. There's 
silica pels, there's metal, there's everything I need. Holy loot, Scooby Doo. Holy loot, like I had got so much loot, I got a cryo pop from it as well, so now I can cryo my tame and upload it overnight. I may live for the 24 hours I want to live for. I grabbed all the pels, there's heaps of charcoal, cementy paste, I need all this stuff. This is literally the raid that will set me up for the entire time I play. So I am so excited. This is insane. I have to do multiple trips, I think. Take the stuff back to base and come back. I decided to destroy the beds with the wyvern. Stick its head through and try and destroy the beds because they were glitched out for me hitting. And I actually ended up destroying it with the wyvern biting through, so... Let's take what we've got quickly. Holy... That's fat loot. I mean, we can cryo our wyvern now and put it in upload. And with the first raid done, we're looted up. We have a snowball effect going on right now. That is beyond what I expected at the very start. So let's see how good we can do for the rest of the wipe. Let's get the rest of this loot and let's see if we can build up and go raid some more bases before we get found by cheaters or sweats. With a fresh raid down, I was keen for the future. I had everything I needed to build up, get a full set of flak, make a long neck, make ammo, get more grenades and go find another raid to upgrade my base, upgrade my raft and then maybe even think about making a new base out in the open in the redwoods. I really wanted to stick it out in the open, get some turrets down and see if I could survive out in the open and have a little bit of fun. I went for some drops, found some loot, obviously got a nice little shield, that helped me out way so much, probably not good for somebody that went for melee at the very start of the, seat of the server. Found more oil pumps which is going to help me with a bit of extra metal and everything else when I deconstruct it after placing it down. But we checked out as many drops as we could trying to get some easy loot at the start and guess what I found? I found another cheeky little raid. Let's get it. Hello buddy. Hmm. Alright. Time to go bye bye. Oh, I think he's on. I just saw him. I think I just saw him on the side there. There he is, he's on the side. This guy here was a little rat. He knew that if he stayed behind the wagon, he wouldn't quite get hit. And he was cheeky. He was just strafing to the side. And it frustrated me so much. I actually muted here because I was getting frustrated. I'm like, he's cheeky, he's smart. Good on him. But he ain't going to last against the wagon. It's just not going to happen. And he was dead. That means I can get his loot without any issues. And uh, have our second profit for this little series. I'm keen. We found a cheeky base. You don't generally get to find these at the start of a of an arc pock wipe because people go pretty sweaty at the start and to find this kind of base or these kind of bases all the time is very rare so I'm keen for a nice start however he didn't have much he just built his base placed down his most basic things and had basically nothing it was a bust and this raid didn't get us anything so I hit the drops up again trying to hope that I'd get some good stuff. I've got a simple pistol that may help me out in some PvP. Something a little bit better than making myself. I grabbed the oil and knew that I could make more grenades and blow into some more stone bases. I am keen. I am excited for this adventure. So far it's going well. No one's found my raft, which is an actual massive surprise. I expect a lot of ESP to be on, but so far I haven't run into it. Maybe it's because it's Crystal Isles. Maybe it's just early on. Who knows? i got to go get Polymer, so I'm over here killing the little penguins over here poor little things but I need polymer and uh, as I was over here I found another base I'm just getting lucky with these finds that's a cheeky little base there hmm we need to raid this right now if we don't raid this someone else is gonna find it and they're gonna raid it themselves I need to grab this wolf quickly if I don't grab this he's gonna try and kill me with it same with the rex I need to try and get that away if I can get the rex away then he's not going to be able to fight back. But first we gotta, we got to scout, see what's going on, because I saw him around there. Hmm. He's going to have a little snipe quickly. Just wait for the perfect moment when he stops to look in his inventory. Here's the moment. He's going to do it. Come on. There he is. How did that miss? That was on point. Guys, tell me. That was on point, was it not? How did that miss? It must be ping or something, but that's an issue I deal with all the time. One way I know how to kill somebody without any issues is to pick him with a wyvern and then just eat him. It's going to take a while, he's got full flak, but hey, 
I don't have to worry about that desynky problem that I have when it comes to shooting. This guy's done. His armor's broken. He ain't gonna last much longer. We'll kite his Rex away and then we'll blow into his base. Let's hope he doesn't respawn too quick. He's got, I think, a 30 or a 60 second timer. So let's do it fast. Just have to bite this Rex. As I bit this Rex as well, I noticed something right next to me. And it was a Bloodstalker. A Bloodstalker had rolled in right at that moment. And I'm like, is this a guy trying to scout for bases or is this his friend? And a Bloodstalker can literally pick me off with no issues. And that's a problem. So I had to pull out for a little bit, go hide for a second across on the island away from him. Wait for a second until that guy may disappear and then go back. That was my plan. Wait and hope that that guy didn't really realize what I was doing and then go raid this base. And the other guy had spawned back in. He'd found the tames that had kited away, which was a bit of an issue, but he's naked. So I should be able to kill him rather easily. And doing so, he'll be on a bigger spawn timer and his tames will be away from base. That is when I can actually raid him and get some massive profit. Kind of scared to be able And with that, I blew in to my third base, my third raid within an hour. I am snowballing so much right now. Like before, beds weren't, weren't taking any damage from a melee weapon. Frustrated me beyond belief because this guy could spawn back in, grab a weapon, and kill me. He could bowl at me, he could knock me out, he could do anything. That is an issue. So, you know what? I'm going to probably use a grenade. I'm going to deal with these beds right now. Beds are gone. Ain't no problem now. Time to take out, find out what kind of loot we've got from this base. What do we have? Oh, that's a lot of hide. I might need that actually to make saddles and to make flak. There's some more crossbows for backup. Long neck. We've got a bit of stuff. Did I have much metal? Let's just drop this off quickly. Oh! And he overweighted me. He came up, he was sick. I had too much weight on me. He made me heavy. I had to figure out what to drop real quickly before anything happened. Before a tame or that Bloodstalker guy came back. I was scared that his mate was that Bloodstalker person and I was going to get clapped just then. I dropped whatever I could, looked for the guy straight away, and went to go kill him so I could sort this out and finish this raid. And he was dead. Now it's time to get my profit and get out of here before any issues. Now I have no weight, it's a bit of an issue. My character isn't built for playing like this. And that's an issue, I don't have any mind wipes. After I grabbed all my profit, I could prefab a little metal base. My idea was to build a base out in the open in the redwoods I could have built easily in a hidden spot, lived for ages and just hid away and done that. I wanted to have fun, I wanted someone to pull up, I wanted to have a little defense, I wanted to play as fast and as hard as I can, raid as much as I can, as quick as I can within 24 hours, that was my goal. And that may just be my downfall, we don't know. So I started putting all my pels, all my stuff in here, starting to make electronics and make as many turrets as I could. Oh, he's got turrets on there now. Went past this guy again. And he finally, he put turrets on his base. He built back up. I respect that. I respect that, my dude. So now I have to put more turrets on mine in case he knows where I live and he comes back for revenge. Because we all know what a revenge story is. People motivated when it comes to revenge. I know I am. With that, I grabbed myself an Anki, knocked it out. Trying to tame this so that I can actually farm a lot quicker. I'm solo, so I need as many tames to help me with that kind of stuff as possible. We're just going to get some berries in it, put some more ammo in our turrets, and hope that we don't get raided while we're out taming. And now I've got to look for an Argy. I need an Argy, an Anki, and I'll be set. And there's a 145. Time to make our trap. And time to knock it out. Come on, buddy. In the little trap. Thank you. That has gone bad before in other game in other in other servers that has gone really bad and I've been killed by Argies. But it's knocked out, time to tame it. And time to head back to base. We've got our Argy, we've got an Anki, now we can farm. Our farming ability is going to increase tenfold. Let's get this. Now we can advance and have more turrets in our base and be a little bit more happier to leave base for a little while. 
With that, while I was out farming, I was scouting for more tames. I actually found another base, and I've known these places to be little thicko spots. And there's a guy sticking through the wall there. So let's see what they have. There he is. He might have hide. He's got he's got a pike. Oh my! There's so much space here. That's so annoying to craft early game. That's so like metal. Oh, a silk. I was looking for silk for so long. I was looking for silk for ages. Now I can make whips and I can defend against picks a lot easier. This is a massive profit for me, early game as a solo player. This is amazing. This is my next snowball. It may have been a little stone base, but it was definitely worth the 1c4, I can tell you now. Oh, the charcoal and the oil. Wow. There's so much here. This little base like this, this little tiny stone base near a metal spawn had all this. That's crazy. Getting all my loot, I'm grabbing as much of the important stuff as I can. Obviously I need the silk because I need to make whips and stuff. And grabbing all the stuff that I found rather important at the time. Brought it back to base and crafted a few things. So far, the day's almost over. It's been, I don't know, 18 hours so far. We've had fun, but it's almost over. I cried everything, logged off for the night, and my base survived for the night. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to get back on, I'm going to put some more ammo in my turrets, I'm going to place some more turrets down, and I'm going to do some more farming. I'm quite confident. It's been almost 24 hours now, and I've survived for over 24 hours now. So I farmed more, got nice and thick, filled my forges, and I was confident. But then, I logged off again. And, you know what? I jinxed myself. I logged back in. And it was all gone. Those guys that I raided first, they got raided, or their turrets were blown, and I was next. My base got wiped while I was asleep, and my team's gone. The one night I decided not to upload important things. That's just art, guys. That's just how it is sometimes. It's a circle of life on Ark. You build, you have fun, you raid some places, and then you get wiped. But you know what? It happens. you got to get over it. Move on and have fun again. That's just the joy of Ark. If you don't enjoy that and you can't let go of a base, then man, you're not having fun the way you should. Hope you guys enjoyed this little series and this little type of video that I decided to do. If you want to see me do this again, build somewhere a bit more secure maybe and try and raid some more bases and stuff, let me know down below. I'll be keen to do so. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do and like the video. Let's get to a thousand likes for the first time in ages.